You know, I actually been wondering how all my and the power of one file got around. And this episode pretty much uh, gives it to us. This is a one take review of My Hero Academia, Boca No Hero Academia, whatever you want to call it. Episode Tread Treat. Treat. Um, let's, I'm going to get into the, the whole all my stuff in just a sec. But the episode started off nice with everybody's connecting back to each other. Everybody picking on Bob Go by his hair. And he said even washing it wouldn't help. But him getting mad <laughs> and then exploding and goes right back to how it used to be. I was wondering because I seen it in a manga. Uh, I'm like, damn, how does he? Because I, I just opened the manga before I bought it and I saw his hair like that. I'm like, damn, how is he going to get his hair back to normal? And uh, pretty much that's how. Uh, it's, it's just, we, we right back to where we left off and it, there's a trial of how to people trying to rescue someone. Uh, I get a call and someone goes to the rescue. And the, the got the tape to, to I, I always blowed his name. He felt like he was the, in the lead, but everybody was astonished when my boy Deku came running through. They're like, oh my, look at look at his movement. Bakugo was like, look at him. Bakugo was pissed. I see he was so mad. Like, how the fuck is he able to do this shit now? Like, those are my movements. I've been over there fucking around with the damn the the, the, the third hero and the damn. <laughs> world top one of the top three heroes in the world and I haven't learned shit. Can't let this money the only thing he thinks is like I can't let Deku catch up with me. This shit gonna piss me off. Fuck that. <laughs> but I uh, I love like he just sees the whole competition between him and Deku and it's like Deku just like bro I just wanna be great. You too, you so busy worried about me, but he don't say that though. I would say it like, thank you, watch that. But ultimately, Deku end up slipping and, <laughs> and lost, and he just stayed on the ground for a minute. Uh, because I was like, really, really, dude, you you blew it, you was right, you, you was right there, my friend. But then, and then we go to like other things, and we also when we was in class, when we seen everybody talking about their trips, and my boy Manetta was telling. <laughs> Vanilla is like the funniest dude on the show. Easily. Easily. Because like they're in a locker room, everybody's getting dressed and everything. And he sees a peephole. And in his mind, boobies, slim waist, ass. Like he's a full blown pervert. And I, I rock with it. I rock with it. I need a Vanilla shirt. Just him. Nobody else. Full Manetta shirt looking at all the girls. I, I would take the girls on one side and my boy Manetta looking at it. Whoever made that, whoever got a shirt like that, whoever can make a shirt like that, let me know. I'm buying three. <laughs> so, uh, and he has to get poked in the eye by Air Plug, uh, Air, 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 Air Phone Jack. Yeah, Air Phone Jack. <sighs> She was just jealous my boy didn't mention her. <laughs> he didn't even say that about her, but it's all good though. But to me, we, we, you know, after the whole test or whatever, All Might told me, you know, Deco, I need to talk to you. So we look, we learned about the history of All Might. Uh, not All Might, the history of uh, One for All. It originally came from All for One, uh, a guy who was able to take other people's quirks and he gave to also give people quirks. His little brother didn't have a quirk, but he found out he did have a quirk that, because this was, it, this was so confusing, I actually watched the show, and then I went back and had to read the manga. So like, and then they say the exact same thing, but it's just like, okay, I don't know, maybe the subtitles going too fast for me. Maybe I read slow, I don't fucking know. So I had to go back and read the manga just to understand exactly what was happening. So essentially, the guy who has one for all, I mean, all for one, okay, yeah, all for one, you, you takes quirks from other people, and that's how he, you know, rises to the top, because he was taking quirks from people, giving other people powers, and they would follow him and, or submit to him, you know, can do anything. So that, he had a younger brother who was thought to not have a quirk. So his older brother was, thought, you know what, uh, I'm going to give you a quirk. We don't know if he was doing this for, to, to, to just make a submit or if he was doing it to try to help. Come to find out, he gave him like this, the power, power, uh, power gauge, power gauge, power stick, something like that. And, you know, basically the strength 
of from of all my, you know. He gave him that, not knowing he already had a quirk that allowed him to transfer his quirk to someone else, which is essentially kind of like his brothers, uh, in, in in a sense. Uh, but his his whole thing is like to pass his quirk on to the next generation, so he can fight. Uh, one for all is meant to fight off one, and that's just how it is. And I might tell him like, one day you, the guy we thought I killed or I defeated, he's he survived, and he's still here, and he's back in play, and he's always the league of villains. So you have him, you have he's over Sugar Rock and all of them, and shit, he and he knows it because we see him taking at the end of this uh, episode, and he's just talking like. Uh, that that guy is going to be, I think, referring to Sugar Rock. The, the villain, the league of villains, is going to get bigger because people are going to start coming in based off what Stain did. It's like a whole bunch of seeds seeds were planted, and like that, they're, they're all starting to like bloom. And, and now we're going to get a whole bunch of shit with a whole bunch of people, and some, probably going to be some crazy shit going down pretty soon. Uh, and, and ultimately, Deku's going to be the one to have to take down off one, not knowing that when that time probably comes, All Might probably going to be dead. And uh, we, we pretty much know All Might's going to die uh, because, like, his health issues and, and that, that big mark that he has on his side, that's pretty much all we know is going to happen. But at the same time, it's like we don't know when it's going to happen. And I think there's going to be a big event that happens in this manga or, or anime, how you want to look at it, that's going to like shift Deku in like a weird place because we know all the responsibilities are going to fall to him. I don't think it's going to happen for quite some time, but we all know the responsibilities are all going to fall on Deku, which is going to be nice. Whew. Another informative episode. This episode was okay. Uh, it wasn't one of the better episodes, but it just it gave you information. Uh, a lot of times episodes be boring, they don't give you information. But this one gave you a lot of information that you probably essentially needed. Uh, especially because I didn't really know where All Might, uh, I mean, more for All originated from as well. So now we know it's just something that's just packed down, passed down. The fact that it's passed down like this and it's called Off of One, I'm still wondering, like, is Deku going to develop his own quirk? You know? But then that's that's something we can. See. I don't care if it's like five, ten years from now, in the show, not like not my lifetime, I, I, not my lifetime. But like he develops a quirk, and ultimately he does the exact same thing that All Might does. But along with this, he's able to transfer his quirk along with all. I mean, uh, one for all. With one for, uh, with his quirk, it'll be included in one for all. So the next person he passes it to, that's great. But I don't, I'm, I'm not in no hurry for that at all. I'm cool with Deku. Seeing my boy Deku on his journey to becoming the greatest hero. But at the same time, I do want to know if he's going to get his own quirk to, to go along with all, all for one. Yeah. Whew. That was like all from all for one, one for all. All my, it's just too many all. And it confused me. So let me know what you thought uh this episode down in the comments below. I'm trying to think of something else, but I can't think of nothing else. That's it. Ah.